Hello, GamerNome is back. And in this video, we're going to help this noob with a new Kitsune Fruit reach max level. But before starting, you can show your support by using Star Code GamerNome when purchasing your Robux. Just a disclaimer, guys, every time you use my Star Code, I get paid. And one more thing, I created a Twitter account, so make sure to follow for future updates and giveaways. Where the actor slam. Oh, there it is. Forward. There's your slam. There's the dump. Okay, so before we start grinding, guys, there's a scammer roaming around. Guys, this is his Discord account. As you notice, there's an underscore. So, guys, make sure to not fall for his tricks, guys. Never give away your account details to everyone, even to YouTubers, okay? Okay, so one more thing, guys. I already made a noob to pro, right? Level 1 to 700. So, guys, this is just a continuation, but for the first time, viewers, I will make the first C kind of faster, okay? So, first up, how did I get the fruit? Guys, I bought it with Robux. It cost 4,000 Robux just to make this video for everyone to enjoy. So, guys, please enjoy and don't forget to like and subscribe, okay? Don't skip ads. <laughs> Okay, so for our first skill, Accursed Enchantments, there are two ways to use it, okay? Two ways. First up, guys, you can hit a target. This will happen. There you go. And if you want to hit the ground, this will also happen. So, guys, uh, if you want fast damage, use the uh, hitting the ground, okay? So, Kitsune has M1, there you go, which is really good. At Ails 3, there you go, the meter, you will have a burn effect, which is also really good, especially when you're just using M1, if you want to grind really fast, okay? that's that's. Uh, I hope that's clear for our uh, introduction to the fruit. There you go, there's a meter here. So, if you got three tails, you will run faster, there you go. Your dash will also look different. There will be more added benefits once you transform. Okay, guys, so time to grind. First up, guys, we're gonna grind. Again, the bandits. Okay, the easiest one. So target here is level 10. So I'm gonna make things faster, okay? So after that, guys, we're gonna head to the Fountain City. No more cursed chests, so we're gonna start grinding the Gali Pirates. What I did here is I used M1 and then I just reacted fast. So left click, you will push him forward, which will trigger him to use his air slash. There you go, so you need to dodge it, okay? Also, you can use your skills to last hit. Okay, there you go. Okay, so guys, we're gonna unlock our second skill here. The Tales of Burning Agony like Sonic the Hedgehog. <laughs> I saw that one in my previous comment. There you go, guys. Sonic the Hedgehog. Or again, maybe Choji, right? On Naruto. Okay. So, guys, let's continue grinding again. Gali Pirates. We will grind here until level 60. There you go. Okay. Stat check first. 20 melee defense blocks. Fruits 140. Next up, guys. The Island Desert. So here we're gonna make things faster. Desert Bandits until level 75. There you go. Just use your left clicks, guys. I'm telling you. And use your skills to last hit your enemy. Okay, once you reach level 75, next uh, mob is the Desert Officers. So guys, we're gonna grind here until level 90. Check that out. Easy to lure them because we have M1. And then last hitting them using our skills. Again, guys, uh, if you're gonna ask me, just use M1. If you're on a, in a hurry, okay? Next up, Frozen Village. Target, Snow Bandits, until level 105. This is the island where you will buy the Haki, right? Uh, the Sky Jump Plus, the Soul Root. So guys, make sure to buy them. I won't include it here because I already showed you in the previous video. So 105 guys, Yeti, Frozen Village boss. So at this moment, guys, you will start doing server hop. Okay, server hop means after killing this, uh, next server, look for the Yeti. There you go. Target level is 130. Guys, check this out. This is... Uh, same level as us, 105, but we are having no problems defeating this boss. We're just gonna lure it to use his skill. And then after that, maybe we're gonna use our own skill to defeat this mob. There you go. Oops, it will go back to its spawn point. The middle, so yeah. He's about to use his skill, I think. There you go, and then it's our time to use our own skill. Okay, gamer gnome, is there an easier way to grind aside from doing Yeti? Trust me, guys, this is the best way to grind here. At this stage of the game. Oh, okay. So guys, next up, Marine Fortress. Target is the Vice Admiral boss. Okay, so here guys, same strategy. Some tips, uh, we're gonna do server hop. Okay, you can do wall strat here. But this fruit is too powerful to use th that strategy. So we're just gonna face it uh, face to face. We will unlock our third skill here. Yes, the Bijo Bomb or the Tail Beast Bomb. I'm gonna show it to you later. Let's defeat this first. There you go. Okay, so here it is. C skill, Master 100. There you go. Fox Fire Disruption. Okay. So guys, again, target level here is 220. Again, technique, make sure to spawn as a Marine. Next up, guys, Prison. So here we have a boss. 
uh, Warden. We're gonna grind Warden until 230. Why 230? Because, again, there are lots of bosses here. See that, guys? The other guy there, he's defeating the Chief Warden. But so far at this level, we cannot get the quest. Yeah, the quest requirement is 230, so we're just gonna focus on the Warden. Okay, Warden. Okay, there you go. After that, guys, 230, we're gonna defeat Warden and Chief Warden until level 240. Now we're defeating two bosses. Okay? There you go. So after that, guys, when you reach 240, let's defeat this first. There you go. 240 guys, Swan. Now this can be tricky because Swan spawns uh, longer but will give you lots of experience compared to the previous two bosses. So I, I suggest just aim for the Swan if you want to make things faster and then change servers. Again, we're doing server up here. Target level is again 350. Okay, once we reach that level, let's do some stat check. There you go. 150 mil defense blocks for 750. Next up guys is the ma uh, Magma Village. Okay, Magma Village target Magma Admiral. We're gonna grind this one too, again server up until level 425. So guys, as you noticed, if you watched the previous video, almost all of the technique here is just server hopping. There you go, dodge his skills, and that's it. Very easy. What is the target level here again? I'm gonna remind you level 425. There you go, after that, next island is the underwater city. Target here, the Fishman Lord only. So guys, again, face to you can do wall strat in this island. Uh, I forgot to tell you, you cannot wall strat Magma Admiral. Yes, wall strat here is permitted. But again, the fruit is too good. And also the effects, guys. Let's appreciate the effects. Shout out to the dev uh, Shafi for that one. There you go. So guys, target level here is again, level 500, okay? 500. After that, stat check first. There you go, 2 to 5 melee defense, block fruits 1053. Next up, guys, is the Skylands. Uh, the Skylands Upper Sky, we're gonna defeat Whisper. So, Gamer Nom, this, I saw your previous video, you're doing Stone Strat here. Guys, don't do Stone Strat, okay? You will get hit because you have uh, most of your skills knockback or you will push your enemy in the air. So, yeah, it's a big no. Just defeat it face to face. We're gonna skip the other, all of the mobs here in the Skylands except for this one. And reach 625. Okay, buy Tomo Ring here to increase your Blast Fruits damage. Wait, Gamer Gnome, you skipped the Thunder God. Guys, yeah, he's so far away, I'm telling you. <laughs> and we're not even that fast yet. Okay, next up, back to the Fountain City and Gali Pirates. So, guys, if you notice, I'm using my skills to damage it using C skill and left clicks. You can do this one, but I suggest just use M1 and kill one mob at a time. Okay, guys, listen to this one. At 700, we're not gonna head to the second C. We're gonna keep on grinding. Oh, Wild Assault, F skill, Mastery 200, here it is. There you go, boom. Not bad. Anyways, again, target here is 775 before we move on to the second C. Okay, time to beat the Ice Admiral. Don't worry, guys. Don't miss this Admiral too much. We will see this one in the second C. Yes, it's the second to the last boss. Actually, the boss there is Indra, right? <laughs> damage Indra. Okay, so after that guys, head to the middle town, talk to experienced captain, and welcome to the second sea guys. There you go, where's our badge? There you go, badge awarded. Target here guys is the pirate, uh, Swan Pirates. Okay, so as you can see guys, we're gonna grind until 925, almost 200 levels. Why? Because again guys, this is a grind for grinding. This is the fastest way. Also, in this part of grinding, we will be unlocking our V skill, finally guys, the V skill, the transformation, the skill that we paid for. <laughs> there you go, Mastery 300, let's do this one. Let's showcase all skills. First up guys, we have an M1, there you go. Not, an skill, not a skill, but M1. Z skill, there you go, X skill. Boom, okay, next up, C skill. And the last skill, or the F skill. Actually, last skill is the transformation. Okay, oh, factory guys, there's a glitch here, I think, or there's uh, this is having problems with its hitbox. There are times that I am having a hard time left clicking the core, okay. But we're gonna just gonna fast forward this one because I don't want you to like wonder. Oh, he got the what do you call this? The sedium rifle, yes, I got it, plus a fruit. There you go, anyways, back to the swan pirates. There you go. Again, 925 is our target here. Next up, guys, green zone, Fajita or Fujitora. So, guys, target here is level 1000. So, yeah, left clicks. But, guys, uh, please be aware of his skills. 
it's high damage okay we're gonna do server up here again until level 1000 now guys i think once we max out our blocks fruit we're gonna focus on the defense because again i felt the damage of this boss <laughs> Also, Kitsune form can run over water. Yes, I forgot to tell you that. There you go. For our next island, level 1000, Snow Mountains. Target here is the Snow Troopers. Target level 1150. Guys, check this out. Once he skill, they're almost dead. <laughs> so we're just gonna use one more skill or use M1, left clicks, to defeat them. Very easy, right? So guys, there you go, 1,150 for the stats. I think this is the last sentence I'm going to show you. 500 defense, max blocks fruits. I will update you later, but next uh, stat to fill is a uh, defense. Okay, next up, hot and cold. And our target here is the boss, Smoke Admiral. Notice that we skip almost every mob here. Anyways, it's very easy to defeat. This is my favorite boss when grinding in the second C. Why he's near the quest giver and he's so easy to defeat. <laughs> Please don't change this one. Okay, there you go. When I used the Magma Awakened, it took me 5 seconds to burst this one. That's how easy it is to defeat him. But yeah, kudos to the Magma Awakened Fruit. It's really a high damage. Also, it's Logia Fruit. Anyways, let's focus on this Kitsune Fruit. They should make it legendary or mythical. <laughs> the Awakened version. Anyways, 1 to 50. Next up, guys, is yes, the Curse Ship. Again, target 1 to 50. At the Curse Ship, our target is Ship Deckhands. And target level is 1,400. So guys, we're just gonna defeat also this one mob here. Because if you try to defeat other mobs, guys, it's a waste of time. I'm telling you. Target level here is 1,400 at the Ice Castle. Yes, finally, we meet again. Awakened Ice Admiral. There you go. So we're gonna defeat this face-to-face -face now. Anyway, guys, uh, at the third C, or we're, whenever we're defeating bosses, I'm just gonna show it to you once how we defeat it. And we're gonna fast forward to the next area, okay? Because again, it's it will be repetitive, right? Okay, there you go, defeating boss. Okay. So as you can see, guys, every time I use my skill, I will create this stance because again, there's a high chance that this boss might use his own skill. And yeah, I'm trying or avoiding to get damaged because again, we're in a public server. So I'm just getting ready just in case someone will attack us. Okay? So there you go. Target level 1,500 here. There you go. Okay, and after that, guys, finish the Coliseum quest. Okay, de remain reminder, defeats one. And yeah, fight Indra. Just damage him until half HP is remaining. And that is just the requirement. And after that, guys, he will give us a cue. Talk to King Redhead. He will ask us to head to the third C. Okay? Let's enjoy this fight. Oh, there you go. Okay, back to the center. Oh, that Yoru. Not much damage. <laughs> See that, guys? Okay, left click. Okay, we're done here. Next up, guys, head to the green zone. Look for Mr. Captain. And yes, guys. Yes, parts of Tress. Third C. We are in the third C, Tress. Okay. Target here is Pirate Millionaires. Target level 1675. So as you can see guys, I'm using M1 left clicks and then finishing off, finishing them off with one of my skills. Guys, imagine using your transform form. Just one combo with your M1 plus C skill and it's the end for them. Very easy to grind. The damage of this fruit is so high. Guys, uh, if you want to buy it, yeah, go buy it if you have extra money. <laughs> okay, after that, Hydra Island. At 1,675, target here is the Island Empress. So again, guys, you can use Wall Strat here. But again, it will be a waste. So we're going to defeat it face to face. Again, guys, server hop. But always, always turn on your observation hockey. Because again, as if you notice the teleporter at the side, there are lots of bounty hunters here. Even though they won't get any bounty from you because you're low level, they will still uh, kill you. I don't know why. Maybe for fun. <laughs> Anyways, again, we're just going to defeat this once to show you that our fruit is really powerful. Okay, we're almost done here. Oops, dodge. Okay, F skill. Left clicks. Okay, oops, 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 oops. Okay, skills are on cooldown. Oh, we missed that one. C skill. Okay, we're going to use our Z skill now. Oops, F first. Oh, still got hit there. And we're good. Oh, one more. <laughs> there you go. Okay, guys. So again, target level here, 1,750. And after that, great tree. Okay, target is Kilo Admiral. Target level with the Kilo Admiral is 1,825. So again, weakness of this fruit, just stay aerial. Okay, aerial attacks. 
he cannot damage you when you're in the air. What for Kitsune Fruit? We need to burst or go towards our enemy. So yeah, we're gonna get damage here. But don't worry, we're too strong to get beaten by this kind of bosses now, right? There you go. So left clicks, use your skills. There you go. Also, guys, if if uh, I'm gonna tell you the the area where there are the most bounty hunters that I experienced, it is here in the Kilo Admiral area. I don't know why. Hmm. There is no what do you call this teleporter here. Also, I hope that they increase the tail meter, right? Like have nine tails. So once you like uh, max out the tails, then maybe you can use your C skill. We have we will be having nine uh, fire fox disruption bombs, right? <laughs> and just just some uh, what do you call this suggestions. So we're almost done with this boss. Okay, okay there you go. Again, target here is 1825. Next up, guys, is the floating turtle. So here, our target is the forest pirates only. Notice that we skip the uh, fishman captains because they're so far away and also we're not using logia fruit. Also, guys, if you notice, I am defeating every mob one at a time. Why? Because that's easier. They're kind of far apart even though we're fast. Uh, it's better to just defeat one at a time than lure four. And defeat four at the same time because again we're gonna still wait for them to spawn right and by doing this strategy you won't need to wait for them to spawn okay there's always a forest pirate to defeat there you go last two or maybe you can just defeat two at a time yeah at most so this is the last one guys again after this we're gonna skip to the next island there you go target level 1875 there you go and defeat two at most bang okay next up guys our target is the hunted castle yes hunted castle reborn skeletons guys also we're gonna skip all the mobs here but if you want you can grind other mobs if you want things to be slower <laughs> okay anyways again target level here is 2075 also if you're wondering guys they've already uh we're already done with the death king events there are no more death king in the first and second scene but still, you can uh, fight, uh, give the Death King bones here. For the stats, max defense, blocks fruits, max melee 1125. Next island is the Sea of Treats. So, here, guys, Peanut Scouts. Okay, until two, 2200. Okay, 2200 is our target here. So, so guys, if you notice, I'm kind of in a hurry in a way because, yeah, I'm gonna watch basketball now. Go Mapua. If you reside in the Philippines, there you go. So guys, technique here, you're, if you're gonna ask me, defeat one mob at a time, okay? Because again, check this out. I'm waiting for it to spawn, for them to spawn again. If you defeat one mob at a time, there won't be idle moments just like this one. There you go, guys. It's kind of uh, long. Spawn time. There you go. So guys, again, you can lure two, defeat them, or defeat one at a time, okay? To make things faster. Okay, so there you go. This is the luring process. Gamer now, it's kind of slow, yes. But this is the real thing, guys. I'm doing this one. Okay, but they're easy to defeat. Don't worry. Okay, so after that, guys, at level 2200, Cookie Crafters. Again, I'm gonna show you how to defeat this uh, mobs. So there you go, guys. You can defeat two at a time. You can defeat them one at a time. But again, the, these mobs spawn really slow. Gamer now, so you're telling me that Peanut Scouts are better. Yes, I'm telling you guys. Peanut Scouts, they're better in grinding. Check this out. You need to wait for uh, one to spawn again. Instead, uh, by this time, we're all, almost done with the quest with the Peanut Scouts. So, in the long run, you will be doing two Peanut Scout quests compared to one Cookie Crafter, which will give you more experience. Yeah, you will get more experience with the Cookie Crafters. Okay? Anyways, there you go. Last two. Okay, target level here, 2300, okay? Next up, guys, at the Chocolate Island, Cocoa Warriors. Actually, you don't need to grind here, but yeah, you need 100 co Cocos. You know that, guys? The item to make uh, Candy Chalice. You need that to summon Do King. The other form, yes, to get the red key. Okay. To awaken your Do Food if you want. <laughs> Okay, so for our last mob, yes, last mob located still in the Sea of Crete's Candy Pirates. Okay. 
But guys, I'm telling you, just do sea exploration. I suggest that, that that will be a lot fun. You have almost max uh, stats now. You are more than ready. Okay? So I just defeated Candy Pirates here. Gamer, okay, how about the Tiki Outpost? Guys, the, the mobs there, they're so far apart. <laughs> why why consider grinding there? You just grind sea beasts. Instead of grinding there, head to the sea exploration and find sea beasts. Okay? Or terror sharks. Anyways guys, that's it for this video. We've reached max level on Kitsune Fruit and that is just two days. So guys, what do you think? Comment in the comment section. Again, I hope that you enjoyed this one. Again, to all the viewers, subscribe and supporters. I really appreciate you all. Again, this is GamerNom. See you in my next video of unlocking everything in this update. Bye-bye.